Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss the recognition criteria and the measurement requirements for biological assets. An entity should recognize a biological asset when the following recognition criteria are met. 1. There is control of the asset. 2. Future economic benefits are probable. and 3. The fair value or cost of the asset can be reliably measured. Biological assets are measured at fair value less cost to sell on initial recognition and at every end of reporting period. Meanwhile, agricultural produce are measured at fair value less cost to sell at the point of harvest. Afterwards, they are accounted for under IAS2 inventories and measured at the lower of cost and net realizable value or LCNRV. IFRS 13 Fair Value Measurement provides a definition for fair value. Fair value is the exit value of an asset or a liability. It is market-based rather than entity-specific. Cost to sell are the transaction costs necessary to make a sale happen. Cost to sell includes commissions to brokers and dealers, levies by regulatory agencies and commodity exchanges, and transfer taxes and duties. Cost to sell excludes transport costs, finance costs, and income taxes. IFRS 13 provides a fair value hierarchy to promote comparability and consistency in determining fair value. The hierarchy gives the highest priority to quoted prices of identical assets in active markets, and the lowest priority to unobservable inputs. IAS 41 generally assumes that the fair values of biological assets and agricultural produce are always determinable. The only time when an entity may not use fair value and use cost instead is on the initial recognition and subsequent measurement of a biological asset whose fair value cannot be reliably measured. Once fair value can be reliably determined, the entity must measure the biological asset at fair value less cost to sell. Thereafter, it can no longer go back to measuring the asset at cost. On the other hand, the fair value of agricultural produce is assumed to be always determinable. Here is a sample illustration on fair value. In this illustration, the biological asset is being sold in two active markets. The principal market is the market with the highest volume and level of activity. Meanwhile, the most advantageous market is the market that maximizes the net amount received on the sale, net of transport and transaction costs. In the table, we see that the net amount received is higher for market B, the most advantageous market. However, in measuring the biological asset, we should use the quoted price of market A, the principal market. We solve for the fair value of the asset by deducting the transport cost from the quoted price. As biological assets are measured at fair value less cost to sell, we also need to deduct the transaction cost from the fair value. Hence, our biological asset is measured at 21 pesos. In the next video, we will be discussing how changes in fair value are accounted for under IAS 41. See you!